welcome back to the Panic Room, everyone, and to another tag video today. So guys, we have another one that I just know I'm gonna bomb. <laughs> I know I say it all the time, but I swear sometimes I read these questions and I'm like, I am gonna just completely butcher this. So, today's tag is the rules for reading tag. And I was very kindly tagged by another bibliophile reads. So thank you. But guys, you see in the title of this tag, it has the word rules. And if you've been around here for about 13 seconds, you know that I don't deal in rules when it comes to my reading. <laughs> so let's just dive in, okay? So I've got another bibliophile reads video pulled up for the prompts and prompt number one. Do you strive to read every day? If yes, do you do anything different or special to make time within your day? If no, why not? Yes, I do strive to read every day. Uh, strive makes it sound like I work at it though, and I don't. Uh, I do it because I wanna do it. So yes, I do read every day. And it says, if yes, do you do anything different or special to make time within your day? No, uh, I've said it countless times. I will not pencil in reading. I won't do it. Uh, it happens when I want it to happen, when I have time for it to happen. It's uh, organic, I guess. Prompt number two, do you always stay within your favorite genre or do you experiment with reading different genres and subgenres? I pretty much stay in the horror. <laughs> I have read a few fantasy here and there. Uh, I've read, I guess what you would call sci-fi. I'm not really, I'm not really good with genres. Again, I just read what I like. I just read what catches my attention. Squirrel! Uh, <laughs> I guess if I really thought about it though, it would definitely be more horror. And that is not because like, oh, I don't want to go outside my comfort zone. It's because I like horror and that's what I want to read. Number three, do you DNF? If yes, what was the last book you DNF'd and the reason why? If the answer is no, what drives you to finish the book? I can't DNF. My head would explode. I've got to know how it ends. And Michael, Michael K. Vaughn, I know all of you know him. He doesn't need an introduction. He is the same way, like he can't DNF. And he's actually said a lot more eloquent things on it than I have. Uh, but he was talking about how like, you can't say you've read the book if you haven't finished the book. And I know not everyone agrees with that, that's fine. But I concur, like I agree with him. Uh, I just physically can't, like my brain would be like, but what if this happened? over and over and over again. So I might as well finish it. I might as well finish it because, you know, sometimes a book can take a turn and be really good even if it's not keeping your attention in the middle. So, so no, I don't DNF. I physically can't. Otherwise, I would explode. Number four, do you like to read challenging books? If yes, what draws you to them? If not, why do you avoid them? Okay, I'm not really sure what that means. Like, do we mean challenging by length? By the word usage? By the topic? Because I guess my answer would be yes. I do like to read those. Uh, because I don't shy away from any book. Like, if I want to read it, I'll read it. Uh, I've got a pretty decent vocabulary, so I usually don't trip over words. Uh, there are some books that are uniquely written, which, you know, I'm all for. The one that jumps to mind is, like, Negative Space. You know, it was kind of written in an out-there sort of manner, and, you know, I enjoyed that for what it was. I think challenging is a really, like, broad term, but no, I don't usually shy away from any book. Number five, do you read books that have been banned by local authorities? I read whatever the hell I want, and as a side note, don't ban books. And of course it says to tag. Uh, it also says in this that it's like open source, that you can add your own stuff to it, and I'm not going to, <laughs> simply because I couldn't even do what was here. Uh, but it also says to like give credit to people. I will of course put all the information that I know about this tag down below, but if I miss anyone, I am really sorry. Uh, I don't think it's been added to, at least not the one that I did, but I honestly don't know. I will put all the information I can down below though. And as far as tagging people, no. So guys, thank you for hanging out for another bomb of a tag where I think I answered like three of the five prompts the exact same way. Uh, I appreciate your time. And guys, of course, if you like this, please hit like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And until next time, bye for now.